G'day guys, Elfie here. Been a long time coming, but I'm going to show you a new Minecraft Edu tutorial today. What we're going to do is we're going to download one of the snapshot versions or development versions of Minecraft EDU. So to do that, you go to minecraftedu.com slash members. You pick the version you're running, so whether it's Classroom or Premium, I'm going to pick Classroom. You enter your login details and log in. Once you have logged in, you'll come across a screen like this, and there's this big bold text here saying get the latest experimental snapshot version here. The wording of that might change, but it'll be something very similar. So you click on the link, and you come across to download a pre-release. Now it warns you that this is un may have a lot of bugs, and if you do find bugs, report them. Um, and you can download the version here. So I've already done that for the sake of the video, but you download there and down it comes. Now to install, all you need to do is run the file that you download. Same as every other install we've had, only there's this slight change here. So place Minecraft Edu Launcher Applications on the Mac in Windows and I think on Linux that's always been there, um, just placing the, the shortcut to desktop. So I don't want that to happen here because I'm just doing a tutorial. So choose the directory you want or make a new folder. So I'm going to choose that one, continue and away it goes and launches. Now this version of Minecraft EDU adds a ton of things. So I'm going to run the launcher. It allows you to install mods both in Minecraft and the server, so any Forge, well, most Forge-based mods, you're able to install, and that's the thing I want to go over today. How do you get mods into your Minecraft EDU install? So at the moment, I can't actually do it. I need to run the Minecraft EDU server and the Minecraft EDU client before I can install the, ser the mods on either the server or the, or the client. So if we run the launcher, you'll see this looks a lot nicer and prettier now as well. So we've got icons and all that sort of stuff. So the first things first, we run our server tool just one time and we actually start up a world. The other thing you'll notice is we get, we've got icons here now um, and of course if it's your first time running you'll be asked to set a teacher password. So I'm just going to create a new world and I don't care what the world is like so I'm just going to run whatever it's got there. So none of that has really changed there have been some changes here though. So you will see there is server information which is what we're looking at here at the moment. There is world information which tells you how often you've saved it, the seed, the world type it is and the, and the name it might have or whether it's, a, sorry, whether it's a saved map or a world template. The game mode has changed. It's now a drop down box for survival, creative or Minecraft EDU and difficulty is now a drop down box as well. Other than that, everything else is pretty much as it was. So now that I've done that, I'm going to stop that. I'm going to quit and I'm going to relaunch my launcher and I'm going, oh, before we do that, let's talk about what's happened in here. So server tool, I've run the server tool. If I go into the server, there are now extra directories that weren't there before. If you don't believe me, go back in the video and have a look. There's this directory which we care about and this directory which we care about, the mods and core mods folders. Okay, when you run the Minecraft client or the Minecraft EDU client, the same thing happens. At the moment, there are no mods files in there. If I start the Minecraft EDU client, I'm just going to do it in offline mode, you can see it actually creates all of those folders, so core mods, mods and everything else as well. So once you've got to there, you can just quit and now you're ready to install mods on your server and your client. So we're going to start with our server. So server, mods or core mods is where we're going to put things. Now I've got a heap of mods, and that's not it, a heap of mods already downloaded, ready to install. Now I would like to install industrial craft and let's go with mistcraft. Okay, both of these I know they work so I'm going to copy them and I through testing have found that they go in the mods folder. So if they don't work in the mods folder try in the core mods and vice versa. That applies for the client as well. 
So I'm going to go to my client mods and I'm going to actually add those two items in there. And I'm going to add one of these, that one I think is the one that works, into my client as well. So now if I run the launcher and start up the server tool and I'll create another new world and I'll generate structures this time just for something different. On the advanced settings page, so where you can actually see the server console, it will actually tell you what mods it's run after it's started up with all the spawn area. It says I've loaded Industrial Craft 2 and Mistcraft. Now of course remember that um, Zan's minimap was only in my client. They've also added this little green light up here to say your server is ready to connect to. So now that that's running, I will run my client. I'll just run it in offline mode again. And it does take a lot longer to load with mods in the program. So keep that in mind, it does take a lot longer. So I'm just going to direct connect to my local machine. I'm going to be a teacher so that I can show you what happens. So in here, it was obviously the wrong Zans minimap um, because that hasn't shown up. And because this is a first install, all of my settings aren't there. So that's how you get mods. I'm getting lots of emails, my apologies. That's how you get mods into here. So if I have a look in my inventory, if I can make myself creative, if I have a look in my inventory, and there goes my clock, there's lots of noise, you can see there's Industrial Craft 2 and Mistcraft as well installed on this server and on my client now. So that's the place to install. I'll just bring it back up and show you again. So you can install mods in the server let me just go from the start. So Minecraft EDU server tool, server either in the mods directory or the core mods directory, and in the client in Minecraft EDU slash Minecraft, either in the core mods or the mods directory. Thanks very much for watching, I hope that helped, and I'll catch you guys later.